Stand where you can see our quack. Come closer. Yeah, that's it. Let's get closer so we can. <laughs> and in a few seconds, our handsome young gentleman gonna come. Was it raining today? I didn't notice it was raining. Was it hard? Yeah. Really? About 10 minutes. What is wrong with the island? Is it hurricane season though? All right, as we're waiting a few more seconds while our guests arrive, and here comes our, our cunning or our, our gentleman. Language. We say that, of course, the Polynesians needed to find ways to cook their food. So what did they do? They dug a ditch in back of their yard, and we call that backyard kitchen, or wherever they could find a place, an emu. We invite a handsome young gentleman to come and unearth it while I am explaining. Come, guys. Where's the tray? Oh, there. Okay. Got to put the pig on the tray because it's hard to carry. Oh, where was I? <laughs> All right, then we gathered rocks from the riverbed, placed it in our emu, along with what we call as a kiave tree. We would cut it down into small logs, small enough to fit the emu here. Then we lift those two items up for about five hours. Now, of course, uh, the wood wouldn't light by itself. So if you have been to the Samoan village or visited the Samoan village and saw how they light the fire, yeah? I'm sure most of you did the same concept, that's how they did it in those days. Then we took the wood out, left the rocks, and of course the rocks are what cooked our pig, but the wood is what kept the heated the rocks. Of course, then we took the banana leaves, placed them on, uh, under, on the rocks, and the pig on the leaves, and more leaves covering the pig. It actually gives a little flavoring and helps keep the steam in. Today, because we wanted to cook it sore and longer, we used the, the uh, mats here, or rug, or even sometimes burlap bag. Six, eight, fifteen, sometimes twenty hours to cook the pig, depending on, pig, depending on the size. Of course, there you can see somebody has already gotten to it. What, what did you guys? Come on, you. <laughs> I can see the, the part of the ribs are mostly gone. Shame on you, though. It means that the meat is just ready to eat, probably fell into the belly. And sometimes we will put the rocks in the uh, belly of the pig so the entire pig will be well done. That's probably the best part of the pig. Ah, yeah. So what is uh, our young gentleman are going to do? No more training. You can put them on the table. Uh, if you like. Just eat it. Okay. No more table for that? There is. Can you guys, can you guys walk Where's your table? <laughs> you want us to? Where we go? Yeah. Go fast, guys. Okay, can we have an open sword? Do you usually have a tray, so they're gonna try and rush it to the table just around the corner. You can follow them. Go ahead and follow them. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And take more pictures. <laughs> That's what we're going to eat, Lexi. 